Continue working on your file from the last movie or open the file city blocks roads inner road connect dot max if you need to catch up. You're almost done with the roadworks of the first city block. All you need now is to connect the inner intersections. For that, use the technique you learned earlier, making use of the sweep modifier. First, and with the help of the snap tool, set to midpoint, create a multi-segment spline connecting the open edges through their midpoints. Remember to disable start new shape after creating the first segment to ensure all segments are part of the same spline. Start with the two-way rows, so make sure not to include this one stretch of horizontal road in the top left quadrant. For that bit of road, create a separate spline. Once the splines are in place, exit snap mode. With one of the splines selected, add a sweep modifier in bar mode. Set the length and width to 7 meters, that's for two lanes, and make sure the pivot point is aligned at center top. Also make sure generate mapping coordinates is enabled and set in real world map size. Now drag the sweep modifier to the other spline to duplicate it. This way, both splines have the same parameters. Go to the Slate Material Editor and create a new Arc and Design material based on the matte template. Make sure it is set to show in the viewport. For a diffuse map, use the bitmap named Road Two-Way Single JPEG. This represents a two-way, two-lane road with a solid line divider in the middle. Double-click the bitmap node and adjust its property to use real-world scale and set the scale to 7 meters by 7 meters to fit the road width. Apply the material to the appropriate swept object in the scene. You will notice it needs a 90 degree rotation, so adjust the W angle of the bitmap accordingly. Repeat the procedure to create a material based on the road one-way double JPEG image for the strip of one-way road. When you're done, dismiss the material editor or move it aside. Select the main road works and use Attach to attach the new geometry, preserving material IDs as before. In a side view, switch to vertex mode and delete all vertices underground. Next, select all vertices and weld them. This takes care of duplicate vertices already sharing the same space. For those that are not, such as around the angled road, you need to zoom in and use target weld to ensure you have clean geometry. Exit Subobject Mode window. Finally, you need to make sure all your materials are consolidated. You still have two independent materials that should be part of the multi sub material tree. In fact, they already are courtesy of the attach function. So all you really need is to delete the material nodes and use the material picker to pick the material of the resulting geometry. You can then collapse the nodes and rearrange the layout.
Save your file. In terms of roadworks, the first city block is done. You still need to add sidewalks and building lots, but before you do that, you may want to use the current infrastructure to create more variety. This is what you do in the next movie.